everybody, my name is Erica Lindbeck and I am a voice actor. You might know me as the voice of Barbie, the voice of Talia in League of Legends. Uh, I'm on Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans, which is on Toonami right now. Uh, I'm also in Your Lie in April, Love Live, Do Da Da Da. I've done work on Call of Duty, The Division, a bunch of stuff. But that is not why we're here. Today, I'm going to be doing a review of Sid Meier's Pirates. But first, I'm going to eat a habanero pepper because I hate myself. I'm so scared. All right. How long should I chew it? Should I swallow now? Mm. <laughs> oh, no. No. Okay. Uh, Sid Meier's Pirates is an open world RPG single player game that was released in 1987 by the now defunct Microprose. It was the first game to ever have the name Sid Meier's in the actual game title. Oh no! In the actual game title? Uh, which I'm not sure why that was, but it happened. The game was remade twice. 1993 for Sega. And then again in 2004. Huh? On a bunch of different platforms. It's been reported like a million times. Okay. The game basically begins when you receive a letter of Mark allowing you to be a privateer for the Spanish Empire, the Dutch Republic, the King of England, or the French Colonial Empire in the Caribbean. You can choose either the 15th, the 16th, or the 17th century. Oh, no! You have a lot of different options. You can be like a mean pirate and you can attack everybody. You can fight other pirates like Steve Bonnet, Blackbeard, Lafitte. Isn't there a guy named Lafitte? Oh, no! You can rescue your your old relatives. You can um you can hunt for treasure. You can go and find crew, you know, to like help you. <coughs> uh to help you, you know, take other people's ships. And you can use things like cannonballs and grape shot to take other people's ships. And then you can fight. You basically you take over the ships, you can fight the pirate captain, and then they in like a fencing thing. It's not that hard, I promise. In the end of the game, essentially the decisions that you make influence the end of the game. You can end up being like a beggar on the street or you could be like, you know, an advisor to the king, like based on your decisions. As you get older, it gets harder and harder to fight because your health goes down. Pros! The naval combat is amazing. It's really, really great. It's honestly, I would say it's like on par with Assassin's Creed Black Flag and just saying a lot because the game came out a really long time ago. Uh, the cool thing is the replayability is awesome because the decisions that you make and the time period in which you decide, the time period in which you decide to play influences the game. And actually, the relationships between the different empires change as the game goes on. Thus, everything's different. Like if you choose 15th, 16th, 17th century, everything's different. Okay, another cool thing about it is that the game, the game, as I said, was replayed three times. The game was remade in 2004 for different platforms like uh, Microsoft, Xbox, Wii, uh, by Fire Axis, which was actually, which is actually the now, which is what Microprose is now, essentially. Um, and you can play it on your phone. You can play it on the Xbox. You can play it on the PC. <laughs> the con, the major con would be the 1993 version called Pirate's Gold, which there actually isn't a lot of information about because the game was so freaking bad and buggy. It was made for Sega. Shame. Shame on you. Okay. Okay, yeah. I will give the, I would give this game, I would give it actually probably like a five out of five peppers. And I would give this pepper, I would give this pepper like a 20 out of five peppers. Uh, oh God. Oh. Make sure that you subscribe to Hot Pepper Gaming. And you can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Twitter. It's Erica Lindbeck. Or on YouTube on Lindbeck and Lee. <laughs>